So everyone's talking about you know data. Data is hot. You must use data to plan your advertising and your publishing. Is is that ironic? Because you know we're in the tech and media, digital media world. We you know, we use computers. We have used computers for the last fifteen years. What what's different now about the talk about data? Um, well, I think that all of the really interesting data that's been around for all those years, the, the census level data, the digital data, the footprints, the browsers, the cookies and, and log file data is still really, really important. It still has a, a fundamental role to play. But I think that one of the things that that almost unbridled innovation has brought is that, that the cost has been that we've lacked discipline, transparency and fundamentally the ability to measure people. It's not something that we've spent an awful lot of time and resource on. Um, so I think that as we move forward and eyes start moving toward, you know, comparing online video with television delivery, um, fundamentally, the, mo you know, the, the most fundamental element there is how do you dedupe between those two things and, and fundamentally that's about people. And that changes the conversation. It means that we've probably got to invest a bit more time and a bit more money in trying to do something that's genuinely quite difficult compared to something that traditionally in the digital space data has been relatively cheap and relatively easy. So it'll be all, all change, but both sets of data will sit aside, sit a, sort of alongside each other um, as, as we go forward. So Nielsen has been instrumental in um, producing two new measurement metrics for, for the industry, um, online campaign ratings and cross-platform campaign ratings. Tell us, about, tell us about those and give us a progress update. How's, how's it going? Yeah, so uh, in essence, online campaign ratings is very much aimed at under, trying to understand who saw my ad. So really trying to understand what is the demographic profile of the people that saw the ad and actually how many people were there. And in some sense, what it's trying to do is leap forward to a time when the digital industry has to start thinking about the number of people it, it, it measures. And so we can provide uh, reach, frequency, gross rating points uh, on any campaign of any size um, for, for any campaign. Um, that's interesting and we're using people as the fundamental measure there of course to, to generate a reach and frequency. Um, so the next natural progression is then well if we, can, if we can measure the number of people in online wouldn't it be really interesting to understand what that means for both a, 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 a simultaneous TV and online campaign. The trick then is to understand how do you deduplicate the people that saw the TV ad and saw the online ad. So XCR is an attempt to dedupe that audience so that we can provide advertisers and agencies with, um, I guess, an overall view. It's like a big Venn diagram. Who exposed to the online only? Who is exposed to TV only? What about the overlap? And what about the total? Um, and in that way, we can provide clients with the overall deduplicated reach of their TV and online campaign. And I think it will really allow um, clients to make much more informed investment decisions in an area that's been a little bit of guesswork up until now, I guess. We launched um, online, uh, sorry, cross media, cross campaign ratings in the US on uh, beginning of October last year, um, and we've been working with a lot of big clients, uh, also a lot of uh, uh, TV networks and uh, and so forth, to really try and pick that whole uh, uh, issue apart. We're not making any data public at the moment, um, primarily because actually I think we're still we're still learning. Um, it's going to take a lot of observations, a lot of campaigns to really understand what, what are our overall learnings here. Uh, for the UK, we recently deployed beta trials um, at the beginning of this month, uh, and there'll be more news on how, we do, how we're getting on with those um, clients and how, those, those trials over the next uh, couple of weeks. So it's very exciting because, you know, for the first time in the UK, we'll be able to have that real sense of how many people did my TV and online campaign actually reach. Right, so you're working with Barb, the UK TV ratings agency, right? Can you tell us about what that's going to look like? Like how how could the UK UK TV industry change as, as a result of XCR? Um, well, I, I'm not sure how the TV industry w will change. I mean, the uh, the way that we're working with Barb is in the same way that we would work with any data supplier uh, of reference uh, within a market. We're taking a feed from Barb. Um, in the UK, we're doing a fusion with Barb data and our online campaign ratings data, and then producing the uh, the, the total counts. And I think that um, I think from a, a TV perspective, um, will there be any changes as a result of XCR? I think that's very difficult to tell. That the TV industry is in a lot of change anyway as it, it evolves. But I think what it will do is allow agencies who have uh, combined uh, video purchasing and TV buying, often in the same department, now to make a much more informed decision about how they're going to spread that investment. I don't necessarily think that it means that money is going to be diverted away from television into online necessarily. Um, I think there's a, 
Uh, there's a lot of complications around that. So, for instance, um, it could be that certain online campaigns deliver a lot of incremental reach. Well, that might be a good reason or a bad reason to move money away from TV. TV is still the base driver of cover, um, and, and we'll see that change. I think one of the really interesting um, uh, points will be to start looking underneath that duplication for the same type of creative across TV and online. Did they have different demographic um, frequency distributions, did they have different demographic profiles? Did we reach new people as a result of actually moving our TV uh, uh, ads onto the, onto the internet? So um, I think that it will be very much a, a learning process and it will take some time as well. We'll need to build a, a fairly uh, detailed behavioral, uh, sorry, a fairly detailed um, uh, test bed of data before we can make too many predictions because on one single campaign it's it'll be very difficult to say, well, this is how TV works in the new world. So stop me if, if you disagree, but it seems to me that you know, digital native media have been able to use copious amounts of data, mm. true, perhaps true data from, from day one. Mm. Aren't, isn't it true to say that OCR and XCR would be an attempt to use kind of old media measurement metrics in digital media? I think that th there are those that would say, why are we bothering in digital with reach and frequency and, and, and gross rating points? It's in the past, we don't need to bother it. Now, I, I think I would say two things. My own personal view is that it's not in the past, it's in digital's future. Because actually we've been measuring in digital um, volumetric data. Um, it's easy to come by, it's fairly democratised, it's relatively uh, cheap to come by still doesn't give you a read on how many people. Um, and actually, if, if digital wants to be compared to TV in a favourable light, it's got to actually start talking that language. Um, I think the other thing I would say is that, to those people that would say that it's in the past, is you know, explain to me fundamentally what is wrong with measuring simply how many people saw an advert and how many people out of the total universe that you had saw it. I don't think there's anything fundamentally wrong with that at all. And I think both the digital... Uh, metrics that we have today, uh, log file data, cookie data, site census data, will sit alongside these new people-based metrics in, in online in a, in, in a very complementary way. This industry is different. The things I've learned in the time I've been involved with um, the BBC the last five and a half years is the television advertising industry is definitely in love with advertising. 